Hey guys, welcome to another gear review video. Today I'm really excited, and I really am excited, to be reviewing these guys, my Montane Terra pants. Although I am English and we say trousers, I am saying pants. I'm gonna go with the full description. These guys, my pants. So <laughs> we're gonna be talking about them. I'm gonna have a chat about my experience using them over the last couple of years. But let's be honest, if you know any outdoorsy people, it's very likely they have a pair of these Guys, they are fantastic trousers for all round outdoor activities, whether you're climbing, you're scrambling, you're, you're doing a little bit of mountaineering, uh, maybe you're just out walking, long distance walking, or day walking with the dogs or the family, uh, maybe you're doing a little bit of fishing or sailing, or whatever it is, if you're outdoors, or even if you're indoors, maybe working in an outdoor shop, then these trousers are the trousers for you, hopefully. They retail at 85 pounds, but don't pay that because if you shop around, you can definitely get them cheaper. I have three pairs of these, uh, actually all in this color. They have in lots of different colors, which is another bonus. Uh, but my record for spending on a brand new pair of these trousers is 40, 40 pounds. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> so I'm just trying to encourage you shop around. You don't have to pay that full price. Um, although personally, I'll let you make your own decision. But personally, I do think they are worth the 85 pounds uh, price given my experience with these trousers and how well they have performed. So they are sold. Let's get to what they're sold as. They're sold as extremely durable, lightweight, uh, water resistant, and extremely breathable trousers for all round outdoor activities. So basically, let's run through some of these features, Sally. So we started with durability. Let's talk about durability. So we have, as is rather obvious, these wonderful durable patches. So this is mini ripstop fabric. So it's, it's reinforced to basically be able to snag on rocks and. Uh, barbed wire or in my case my friend's crampon um, all sorts of different sharper objects and not rip the idea is you don't want to be walking around with trousers that are shredded to pieces uh, you tend to do that with jackets instead um, <laughs> so they've got this reinforced knee points you've got your reinforced bottom obviously the points that are genuinely or uh, most commonly making contact with the ground and yes these have stood up the to the test of time as I say my friend's crampon got caught on my my trousers uh, earlier on the winter season uh, and you know I'm constantly just kneeling around trying to get shots with my film work uh you know falling over as is typical abby style and there's there's just no sign of any injuries to the to the fabric so i'm really really pleased to say that it genuinely is as durable as they make it out to be so that's the durability so something else they've also done to reinforce the durability of all of the trousers as in one whole object is they've double stitched everything so basically if any stitching does happen to come undone you've got another pair of stitching to to ensure the protection and the trousers aren't just going to fall apart whilst you're wearing them and again i just think that's a really great uh feature to have in these trousers it just it's just is the care put into them by people who are experienced and they know what they need in outdoor trousers so the double stitching it might seem simple it's very easy to overlook but it it, it helps these trousers to function as they function so what you'll see as we run through some of the main features with these trousers in a second is they, they add up, um, there's a lot of zippage going on, so therefore the weight is a little bit higher than some of Montaigne's other trousers or uh, other outdoor trekking trousers out there if you are trying to go lightweight. So they weigh around 330 grams, depending obviously on what size you get. Uh, but I have another pair of Montaigne trousers that weigh 120 grams. So it's kind of just debating whether or not these are features that you need in a pair of trousers, depending on what you're going to be doing or where you're going to be going. Um, so let's just run through these features anyway and that will help you make a decision. So let's work our way down. So starting with the top, we, we normally have a belt with these, these trousers. They come with a belt, really simple sort of webbing belt. It's very lightweight. Uh, I just don't get on with belts, so I have no belts. Uh, the, the, the waist is, is slightly um, elasticated, so you can eat lots and you're fine. <laughs> Uh, you've obviously got your, your belt loops as well. You've got a little popper at the front and then you've got your fly. So basically standard trousers there. So coming down, the next feature is we have two side hand pockets and these are really sizable. I can easily fit my hand in there. I could probably, I could fit both hands in there. Look at that, stylish or what? Uh, but you can fit, you know, guidebooks in there. You can fit phones, keys, cameras, all sorts in here. And because the trousers are designed to be quite a, a, a loose fit, so you've got that articulated movement, um, you can just shove a load in there and you'll be fine. Now the other benefit to these pockets, so obviously they are zipped so you can you can close them up, but the, the backing is mesh. So it's effectively they act as some kind of like breathable vent. So you can open those up to get some, some airflow into your trousers if you're sweating it out on a trail. Uh, and on the right hand pocket, we've got this flip out security pocket, which again is zippered. 
uh, not big enough for anything like a passport or a phone I must say so if you're going to be traveling in these trousers and you want a passport pocket this is not a passport pocket that was a bit of a mouthful uh, but what it is great for I tend to keep little pen knives in there I keep keys in there uh, I also keep rare 50 pence coins that I find to add to the collection so it's a good little pocket for that sort of thing uh, again ventilation then so we've got two other options here so on the side we have this real sizable uh, vent which we can open up again it's mesh so it just aids with your privacy uh, but you can open that up and trust me it makes amazing difference <laughs> uh, especially if it's windy then you tend to want to quite quickly zip them up because you get a lot of airflow let's just say um, so you've got two of those either side and they function really really well and I must say you know these zips get a lot of abuse uh, and they are they are supposed to be sort of water resistant zips um, they sell these trousers as water resistance but in my experience if it's raining I want to pop some waterproof trousers on because it soaks in really quickly what they are though is they definitely are reasonably not completely but reasonably fast drying uh, my experience of say it was a really showery day you know I'm getting wet and then it stopped raining for a bit even if there's a little bit of warmth in the air uh, they, they do dry out and I've always been really pleased with them another another uh, element with regards to moisture is if I'm sweating in these guys a lot so I think my record for wearing these in one go so one pair of these is five and a half weeks and <laughs> every single day continuous use uh, walking and just doing different activities outdoor activities I've sweated in them a lot and actually they've really not smelt very much they dry out quite well when you sweat into them yes you get like salt marks as you do in any pair of clothing um, but they, they don't necessarily retain the smell which again is is not something that's sold but in my experience that is how they've performed so if you are wanting to wear these on a particularly long expedition or a long trip then that is something to bear in mind it's quite nice to have clothing that doesn't necessarily retain your stink so <laughs> that's that's pretty much it on moisture uh, so coming back down to to the trouser features then so we're going to whip right down to the to the bottom half of the leg now so you can see we've got this quarter length zip on the bottom of the trousers and and this is a, a quite handy feature to be honest i don't use it very often but it's nice to have and it just means you can unzip that and you can either a roll your trousers right up which is really comfortable if it's sunny and you're walking in hot weather uh, or you can unzip it and you can take your trousers off over um over your boots if that's what you need to do for some reason so <laughs> Uh, it's kind of just a helpful little thing there but what's even better is if you are walking in cold temperatures at the bottom of the trousers we have these little poppers so you can unzip it a little bit and then you can pop it tight and tie it tight around your ankle and if you want you can pop your socks over that and then you can put wellies on or, or mountain boots or whatever and just really trap that heat in so that that is a nice feature actually um, and it does just allow these to quite comfortably be sort of at least three season walking trousers maybe even four season walking trousers if you're not necessarily going crazy high um, or you know if you if you haven't got any other um, layers to put on top I wouldn't necessarily use them in in snowy conditions but you know I think that's to be fair that's pretty much it with regards to the features that they're, they're articulated they are lightweight in theory 330 grams not the lightest but they are lightweight they are water um, breathable they're not not waterproof so they are breathable they're fast drying and they're just extremely extremely comfortable so that to be fair is pretty much it with regards to my review as i said i've been using these for for a number of years now uh, they are my go-to walking trousers now i would not consider wearing anything else and i must stress i have been through a lot of outdoor uh, clothing options especially on the lower half so as i say i'm notorious for falling over and just getting rips in my trousers i have a lot of gardening clothes now let's just say the sort of clothing that are no longer used for walking but have just i want to keep for some reason because it's also expensive um, but if you're looking at these trousers if you're comparing with them with something else i would I would strongly recommend go try some on. Always try before you buy if you can. Um, but I, I pretty much promise you, once you've tried some of these on and you've used them out in the elements, you'll fall in love and you'll never want another pair of outdoor trousers. Unless you want something lighter or something more robust, depending on the conditions that you're going to be in. Thanks for watching, guys. As you can see, I'm very enthusiastic about them. And actually, I would love to hear how you've got on with them if you have owned a pair or you do own a pair. Where have you taken them? Where have you been? What adventures have you been on? Pop it all in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear from you thank you for taking the time to watch this enjoy your adventures and stay wild